So let's read the problem first. A solid is 2 meters high. The cross section of the solid at height x above its base has area 3x per meters. Find the volume of the solid. So first we need to visualize the solid. Okay. The cross section of the solid is x for every height. I mean, is, is a square, tama ba? Ay, wala. Wala makabapang kung square siya or whatever, no? Basta, it has a cross section of 3x square meters for every height x. So, suppose the height is 0, meaning at the base. What would be the area of the, of the solid at the base? That would be 0. So, meaning, it's a single point at the base. So, as we go above, let's say, arbitrary lang na shape, ha? As we go above, at a distance x, like that, at a distance x, um, the area becomes 3x. So as this height increases, so is the area. So it will increase 3 times of the height. That means if, if x is around here, the area is much bigger now than there. The cross sectional area, this area. So we could imagine the the solid as this shape, right? Okay. And if the cross section is uniform, let's say the whole cross section is uniform in shape, we could imagine this as the integration of all these slices. We have a slice here. That is in the shape the same or similar to the slice here. So our differential volume is a representative slice. So what would be the thickness of the slice? Thickness of the slice. It's dx. Why dx? Because the distance along the vertical is x. So therefore, the, the, the small change in distance is dx. Hence, the thickness is dx. So how could we now get the differential volume? That is just area times thickness. Or the differential volume is simply, what is our cross-sectional area at height x? That's 3x times thickness. So therefore, the volume is just 3 times x dx from, from 0 to, remember that the height is 2 meters. This is 2 meters. So it's from 0 to 2. So we are simply getting the integration of all the differential volumes or slices from the bottom to the very top of the figure. Okay. So therefore, the volume is just equal to 3 times x squared over 2 from 0 to 2 so the volume is 6 okay 6 cubic units cubic units okay let's try this problem a solid extends from x equals to 1 to x equals 3 the cross section of the solid in the plane perpendicular to the x axis at x is a square of side x. Find the volume of the solid. So, first let us visualize the solid. So, since this is a solid, let's use uh, three axes. Um, this, let's say this axis is the y axis. Um, let's say this is the x axis. And let's say this is the z axis. Let's introduce a z-axis. Okay. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? X, Y, Z. Y, X, Z. Okay. Okay. So there is a solid that extends from X equal to 1. Let's say this is X equal to 1 to 3. So X equal to 3. So this coordinate is um, 1, 0, 0. This coordinate is 3, 0, 0. Okay. Then for every value of x, 
the cross section perpendicular uh, to that plane perpendicular to the x axis is a square. So, what is the plane perpendicular to the x axis? That would be this plane, the y z axis. Oh, yeah, the y z plane, any plane. Can you imagine the plane perpendicular to the perpen perpendicular to the x axis. That means if this is this is y axis, this is x axis. The plane is right here. The plane is perpendicular to the screen. If you turn it a little bit, then it would look like this. So for every value of x, the cross section kuno is a square with uh with side x. That means if we start from x equal to zero, there's no area. There's no cross sectional area. When it reaches x equal to one, uh say here, at x equal to one, then we have a square with side one. It would look like this. This is a square. Huh? So as x becomes larger, so is the square. So therefore, the shape of the solid is like this. Can you imagine now? Okay. Let's say the distance, I, I mean, we know that the distance x is around the x-axis. So let's say, let's take this as x, x distance. So let's consider this slice. So all these slices are square with thickness dx, right? So if you isolate that slice, that would be this, and it's shaped as a square with thickness dx. And uh, the side of the square is x. It's x by x, okay? So how would we now compute for the differential volume? The differential volume is just the area of the square times its thickness. So it's simply x squared dx. So therefore, v is the integral of x squared dx from, what would be the boundary? From x equal to 1. So all these slices from x equal to 1 to x equal to 3. So from 1 to 3. So the volume is just x to a uh, cube over 3 from 1 to 3. So that's 27 over 3 minus 1 over 3. So that's 26 over 3 cubic units. So that's the answer.